What's up my peeps, time for a brand new episode of ZW Mayhem and in today's episode I want to talk about the Elimination Chamber update that should be coming soon. So if you guys missed the last episode, I left it off with a brand new announcement that they made on the community page saying that the Elimination Chamber is coming and that we're getting more moves, more match types, more dot dot dot. Now, I think that dot 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 is for more superstars and you know probably more things as well and I want to go over the superstars that I not only think you know could get added with the brand new update but should get added with the brand new update. This is kind of like a wish list and also possible superstars that could come in with the brand new updates. Now it's no secret that we're likely getting Booker T and Goldust with the Elimination Chamber update because some people have already seen them, some people have already gotten them. So they're definitely coming, uh, but I think that there's going to be more than just Booker T and Goldust. So I'm going to go ahead, go through this Icons event, finish this. This is on Superstar, by the way. I already went through a couple matches. And uh, once I'm done with this, I should get a third premium loot case. I've already got two and a couple other loot cases. As you can see at the bottom, I've got 19 loot cases. So once I'm done with this, I should have about 20 or 21 loot cases. And while I go through this, I'm going to go over the Superstars that I think should be added in with the Elimination Chamber update. So let's go ahead and start this. We've got The Rock as our first opponent in this episode, and it's a new disqualification match. So we're going to go AJ and The Rock. A superstar that I think definitely should be added in for the simple fact that the Elimination Chamber is coming up and they've got Braun Strowman, they've got Finn Balor, they've got Seth Rollins, they've got Roman Reigns. Uh, they've pretty much got everybody in the upcoming Elimination Chamber match that we're going to get uh, from Raw, but they're missing one guy, one superstar, and that's Elias. They've got everybody else in the Elimination Chamber, in the upcoming Elimination Chamber, except for Elias. I think Elias definitely needs to be added in. I like Elias. I'm a fan of Elias. Um, not too big of a fan of his finisher, but hey, they made Sister Abigail in this game look pretty cool, so I think they can make his finisher look, you know, impactful. And Elias Samson, the thing with him is he's got the guitar, of course, and just like Triple H in this game has a special sledgehammer attack in no disqualification matches, I think Elias could have his guitar in no DQ matches, and I think that'd make for some pretty cool moments. So I think Elias would be fitting in the game, seeing as how he is a current superstar, and he is involved in the main event of the upcoming Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. I love to see Elias in the game. Let me know if you agree in the comment section. Now, on top of Elias, you see they got Booker, who's competed in the Elimination Chamber. And if you guys remember the Rumble screenshot that showed a couple names, we had Kurt Angle, we had Batista, we had Booker, and uh, we had Kevin Nash in there. And Kevin Nash is the only name that still isn't in the game. So I think Kevin Nash would also be a good fit, since how he also competed inside the Elimination Chamber, one of the first Elimination Chambers out there. I think he was in the second Elimination Chamber match. So Kevin Nash would be my other pick. They could have NWO Kevin Nash, Wolfpack Kevin Nash, and uh, it'd be nice to see the Jackknife Powerbomb. It's not like the other Powerbombs. And with Nash being on that list of names and him competing in a past Elimination Chamber, I think it only makes sense. And I think it is going to happen. I think we are going to see Kevin Nash in the game. Also, another superstar that has competed in the Chamber in the past. You'll notice me mention a lot of superstars that have competed inside the Elimination Chamber. And that's because this is the Elimination Chamber update we're talking about. So I could see them adding in superstars mainly who've competed in the match in the past. Uh, and one of those superstars is Edge. You know, Edge, I think, is on a WWE Legends contract. So it would make sense to add him in the game. I don't see why they couldn't do that. Um, you know, some people sometimes suggest superstars like Ryback or Rey Mysterio, but those superstars aren't signed to the WWE, not even a Legends contract or anything. The way Ryback left, he left on bad terms, so I don't see Ryback being added at all. Like, he's one of the last people I could see being added in the game, but Edge, I could definitely see. Actually, I could see Edge and Christian. Both Edge and Christian competed inside the Elimination Chamber, and I'm... I've always been a big Christian fan, so if he can make it in the game, especially Christian with his singles attire, not just, you know, the Edge and Christian look, I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'd like to see both Edge and Christian. Uh, only thing with Edge, though, is his finishers. Of course, he's got the spear, he would have probably the execution. Both of those moves are already in the game. The execution is kind of like, you know, Bobby Roode's Glorious DDT. So I think the only thing different would be the time, although the Spear might look a bit different from Roman Spear or Goldberg Spear. And as far as Rey Mysterio is concerned, 
I'm not too sure if they can put him in the game because at the moment, I don't think he's signed to any sort of contract with the WWE and I'm pretty sure he'd have to at least be on a Legends contract to make it in a game. So, I uh, don't know about Mysterio being added, but if he does sign, then I'm sure they'll have Rey Mysterio. I mean, he's one of the most popular stars in the WWE when he was in the WWE. Now, chamber match aside and superstars that have competed in it aside, one superstar that I'd like to see that isn't currently in the game is Apollo Crews. And by the way, guys, if you have any ideas for superstars to be added, let me know in the comments section. i like to see Apollo Crews. Uh, Cruz, you know, is one of the more athletic superstars, and, um, he doesn't have his finishers or his moves in the game, so, and I think it'd be cool to have Cruz in the game. He'd probably be one of the weaker superstars, for the simple fact that on TV, he doesn't have the best win-loss record, actually, his win-loss record is pretty bad, but I think it'd be still fun to have him in there. And also, he'd have some pretty cool finishers to add into the current finishers, like his Gorilla Press Slam into Moonsault, and also his Powerbomb Finisher, Sit Out Powerbomb Finisher. Alright, whoa, I failed that one. Alright, doesn't matter, we're still gonna get this one. Now, I also know that they said more match types, but I really wanted to focus on superstars in this video. I'll probably talk about the match types that I think could be possible, or match types that I'd like to see in the upcoming update in uh, the next video, but for this one, really wanted to just focus on the superstars. Really, the main one that I'd like to see is Elias, and it just makes sense, seeing as how they've got everybody else that's currently in the Elimination Chamber that we're gonna get here, except for Elias. And with that guitar, it'd be pretty cool to use him in the DQ matches, just like Triple H has got the sledgehammer move. And now, we move on to the champ, John Cena. So, let's get into this, and uh, let's get that premium loot case. Now, obviously, AJ Styles isn't at full health. I've only got 1,693, but we're good to go. And plus, AJ gets the class bonus. See, despite the health disadvantage, Cena stands no chance. Well, actually, let me not talk, you know, too soon, but, uh, we got the Styles Clash, and that's it's gonna take away a good amount of his health and he's close to danger pin one more big move and he's gonna get into danger pin will we get him the first time around uh, not too sure about that i just made a mistake right there because i gave him some energy um my bad and now he's gonna take advantage of that oh sunset flip power bomb not good agents in danger pain but we're gonna recover so let's get out of this one we got out of it right away okay now i'm not gonna give him any more energy or at least I'm not going to let him get past one energy bar. We can't... Oh! Alright, gotta be careful here. Okay, good. Alright, one, two, three. We got one energy bar. Now, just... I just gotta play it smart. He's in danger pin. We're gonna go for a charge attack. And now he's in no health zone, but he will get a shot at kicking out. One, two, and let's try and get this. No, fail. It's okay, it's okay. One more move and he's done anyways. We got the tornado DDT. Should we use that or the finisher? We have, actually, you know what? Let's go for the phenomenal form and a uh, perfect way to end the match. Just like how AJ Styles beat him clean with the phenomenal form on pay per view, we just beat him the same way here. One, two, three, and it's over. So the event's been completed. I got the title bonus, got my premium keys, three star keys, and four star keys. And let's go ahead and get straight into the loot opening. I'm not gonna take advantage of the title bonus right now because um, we're gonna open up some loot. So uh, just wanna make sure here, yes, three premium loot cases. Time to open up some loot, and uh, we're not gonna waste time with the low card loot cases. We're just gonna open them all after we take on the main event loot cases. So. Two star loot case, let's put that in, and obviously, hoping for Bobby or Batista, and uh, we get John Cena instead, two star John Cena, okay, I think that puts him into overdrive like level 2 or 3, because I think it was already in overdrive, so uh, yeah, overdrive level 5 actually, actually that's more than expected, okay, so um, moving on, here's the thing, when it comes to the two star loot case now, actually for a while now, I, I don't hope for duplicates anymore, because I'm only getting... 25. Alright, let's put that in there and um, let's see what it is, man. 3, 2, 1, and it's gonna be Kane again. Yo, I'm getting a lot of overdrives. I actually, no, no. I think this is just overdrive level 2 or 3 maximum for the restar Kane, I think. Yeah, see, level 2 overdrive. I just got a Kane like last episode or something like that. At least an overdrive Kane. So, alright, 54 star keys. I'm happy with that. Would have been happy really with any duplicates. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get to these three premium loot cases. In the history of me playing this game, 
I've opened up a ton of premium cases. I can't count how many, but it's it's a lot of loot cases. And I've never gotten a 4 star. Could this be the episode that I get a 4 star out of a 4 to 2 loot case? We'll find out. So let's put in the first one and um, let's see what this one's going to hold. And we're going to get to star Big Show. All right. So uh, the first one's not going to be a 4 star. So that we get the Big Show. I don't use the Big Show too often. So uh, Overdrive a level 4. Okay. 25 more. 3 star keys. I don't want this offer. Stop, you know, showing me this offer. Now let's go ahead, put in the other premium loot case. One, two, and three. Tap, and two star Matt Hardy. So another two star. And that's the thing, man. Most of the time with the premium loot case, I tend to get two star superstars. I'm hoping for at least a three star in the last one. So uh, let's go. Let's put that in there. Let's get this offer once again. And now uh, last premium loot case. Put that in. Five. Four, three, two, one, and we get ah, two star Cesaro. So two star in all three premium loot cases. Man, I was hoping for at least one star, or not one star, I mean one three star out of the premium loot cases, but guess today wasn't our day. Okay, open all for the rest, and Kalisto, so that is a duplicate of course, 275, 3 star keys, 450, 2 star keys, maybe that'll give us another 2 star loot case, we'll see, 5,000 cash, I like that, some hell packs, and of course some dumbbells out of the dumbbell loot case, and um, let's get this, overdrive level 7, uh, 2 star, nope, no 2 star loot case it seems, or actually maybe, yes, oh, okay, so I got a 2 star loot case, let's put that in there, and um, come on. Who's it gonna be? Ah, oh, two-star Goldberg. I like Goldberg. I like both his finishers in the game, but still looking for that Bobby, still looking for that Batista. So yeah, Overdrive and some more three-star keys. Let me go ahead and check how many keys away am I from getting another four-star loot case. Oh, I'm still, still a good amount away, 475 out of a thousand. So that's gonna be it for this episode. And by the way, one more thing, People were asking how to get tier 4 dumbbells, because yesterday, you know, I ranked up Steve Austin, and to my surprise, I needed tier 4 dumbbells to rank him up even more. I was expecting more tier 3 dumbbells, but no. Um, looks like we're going to have to wait for Alliance Mode to come to get the tier 4 dumbbells. I mean, a while back, anyways, they said that the rare dumbbells will be available in Alliance Mode, so uh, that's something we're going to have to wait for. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button down below. And with that said, I'm out, guys. See ya.